All right, so I doubt I'm alone when I say this, but when the Cutting Edge Warbond was announced and we're watching the trailer and we're seeing all these awesome weapons introduced, the ARC-12 Blitzer was probably the one that most people were excited for. I mean, hell, this thing was a shotgun that shot out lightning bolts. I mean, how cool could it get, right? But one of the things we started to realize once we started unlocking these weapons from the Cutting Edge Warbond was that the ARC-12 Blitzer was a overall massive disappointment and a lot of people just quickly threw it into the scrap heap with the other unusual usable weapons in the game. Now this weapon did see some niche uses and it was there was an overall cult following for it, but for the most part most people didn't use it. Well, Arrowhead finally released another massive balancing change and it was a massive weapon balancing change overall. And a lot of the weapons got buffs and some got nerfs. And fortunately, the ARC-12 Blitzer was one of the weapons that ended up receiving a substantial buff, even though on paper, it looks pretty small. So what I wanted to do is in this video, I wanted to go over my thoughts on this overall change to the ARC Blitzer. I'm gonna show you some test footage of me playing with this thing. And then I'm gonna give you my overall opinions about where this weapon now ranks overall in the vast majority of weapons that we have to use in Helldivers 2. Anyways, let's get into it. Quickly going over the stats for the Arc Blitzer. The Arc Blitzer has a damage of 250, the capacity is infinite, and the recoil is 60, and the fire rate is 45 rounds per minute. Now, the, the fire rate wasn't 45 rounds per minute prior to the patch. It was actually 30 rounds per minute, which is what made this weapon overall not very fun to use for a lot of people because it was just incredibly slow and clunky. Now this weapon was also placed in the energy weapon category, and I think this is one of the sneaky best changes that Arrowhead did, just cleaning up the categories of weapons because moving the Arc Blitzer and the Plasma Punisher to the energy category was overall a pretty good call in my opinion. Now again, one of the biggest things holding the Blitzer back was not necessarily its damage potential and the overall crowd control capabilities of the weapon, it was just the fact that it was way too slow to use. By the time you got a shot off and you were actually recharging the next shot, you already had a ton of bugs in your face and you just couldn't really ever get a good rhythm with the weapon. So the test parameters for this weapon were that I played with it for about five hours or so, roughly about five to six bug missions and about two bot missions. The reason for the discrepancy is that this weapon really was not designed for bots. I just more or less did this for the lull, so to speak, because being in at that close of range with the bots with such a slow weapon, even with the increased fire rate, is not a good idea and is not designed to deal with devastators or things like that. So just don't use this weapon for the bots. But for the bugs, different story. So the main questions I wanted to ask are, how does this weapon's new fire rate feel? Does this weapon actually feel like a solid option with dealing with the ads now? And what's the best use cases just in general for this weapon? Is this weapon just fun now to use? And what's my new rank for this weapon given the changes to it? All right, so in this first round of clips, you're gonna see the fire rate change with a timer so you can see exactly how much time you're saving between shots, pre-buff and post-buff. And you're gonna see that the post-buff is now at 1.2 seconds and the pre-buff was at two seconds so definitely a huge improvement so the next round of footage is going to be one of my favorite use cases for this weapon and that is fighting the nursing spewers and the bile spewers this thing absolutely stun locks them when they're about to spit they just do this weird dry heaving thing because they just don't know what to do with it because the great thing about this weapon is it targets their head so it just keeps them in this stun locked animation and all it can do is just charge at you and try and kill you so this thing is absolutely ridiculous against the spitter enemies in the game. The next thing I wanted to show off about this weapon is something that was not buff, but it's just something that's more apparent now that the fire rate was increased, was how much range this weapon has. It makes me miss the arc thrower having a lot of range, but I digress. This weapon has a crap ton of range and then the chaining effect just keeps that range going. So it's really, really good at medium ranges, so to speak, so you're gonna hit enemies pretty consistently in my opinion. Okay, for these last set of examples, you're gonna see this weapon in its worst case scenario. You're surrounded by bugs and you've got all sorts of stuff going on around you and you're having to react to different situations very quickly in the heat of the moment. And before, this weapon performed very poorly in my opinion because the two seconds delay between shots was pretty significant and it was hard to be able to multitask. But now you can see by the footage, this thing is an absolute monster at being able to crowd control the enemies. I was able to stop that nursing spewer right there. There's warriors charging me in multiple clips. There's brute commanders charging me. It's just an overall 
much more enjoyable experience to use this weapon in the heat of combat. Now you're not always gonna be in the heat of combat, I more or less forced this, but at the same time, it definitely performs way better than it used to. I mean, look at this, you can see all these friggin' nursing spewers, and yes, I have somebody with me with the breaker fire shotgun, but dude, I'm able to like sit here and keep them from shooting the spit of my teammate. So to answer the questions I asked earlier and just give my overall final thoughts on the Arc Blitzer, the fire rate feels great now. I honestly thought the 15 points of extra fire rate would not make that much of a difference. It would be okay, but it wouldn't be great. But no, this makes this weapon feel completely different. I absolutely love it. And the best thing this weapon does by far is crowd control enemies. The knockback effect is very effective. The chaining effect is a nice little touch that when it over penetrates the enemies it hits other enemies it's really nice and then most of all this weapon stun locks spewer enemies as well as brute commanders i love it because if a spewer is about to start spitting at me i hit him in the face and he stops doing it for a few seconds and i can just keep hitting him until he dies and it really does a lot of damage to these enemies so dealing with a lot of the more annoying enemies in the bug army is really easy with this weapon. Now this weapon of course is not great at dealing with the heavier units like the Bio Titans or the Chargers, but that's what you have your stratagems for, right? Just to reiterate it again, the best use cases for this weapon is as a crowd control weapon for the bugs. No, it's not gonna do this massive amount of damage, but it does do a lot more damage than you give it credit for. This thing is easily gonna one shot the light armor units in the game, and then it's gonna really keep those medium armored units under control. So you're gonna be that person on your squad, or if you're playing solo, that's going to be able to just keep the bug enemies at bay so to speak so the biggest question is is this weapon fun to use and honestly yeah it's a really good time i wasn't expecting to have as much fun with this weapon as i did pair this with the shield backpack or even the jump pack to add some ver variety to your gameplay and this just increases the fun factor to 11 in my opinion so what rank would i give the arc 12 blitzer after these changes so prior to this change i ended up giving the arc 12 blitzer an overall c tier it just did not feel fun or great to use it just was overall a clunky weapon that had some potential now they made this change I have moved it up to an A tier weapon against the bugs more specifically. This weapon is so much fun to use. It's now one of the sneaky top tier choices when fighting the bugs and honestly I think more people should be running it. So if you haven't given it another shot, go run this in your next bug mission. You're not going to you're not going to be disappointed. It's going to be a good time for you. If you've been using the Arc 12 Blitzer, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I just can't tell you how much fun I've had using this thing. It's been a blast to use. Anyways, make sure you do all the YouTube stuff and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.